Yuval Einstein regarded nationalism as a disease. With increasing populism and protectionism, do you think we are headed towards an era that mimics World War II? And let's layer on top of that uh, what could happen with technology as well. Well, first, I don't think that nationalism is a disease. Nationalism also has a very good side. Um, nationalism has been one of the most beneficial ideas in history because it makes strangers care about one another and cooperate to a certain extent. A nation is a community of millions of strangers. And nationalism enables these millions of strangers to, to cooperate. And, and this is very good. The problem is what happens when the nations begin to collide with one another, especially in an age like today, when to solve the major problems of the world, you need global cooperation mm. and not just national cooperation. And if we are in this situation, if your highest loyalty is to the nation, the result is likely to be trade war and real war, like the Second World War. And under current condition, this probably means the destruction of human civilization. Oh, gosh. I think we don't need to abolish nationalism. There is a, a place, an important place for national sentiments in the world. What we need is to add to the national loyalty another level of loyalty to humankind and to the world. Yeah. And people can have several loyalties at the same time. Yeah. You can be loyal to your family, to your neighborhood, to your business, to your profession, and to your nation at the same time. And you have to, to decide. Now, in this dilemma, I prefer my family over my business. Here, I prefer my business over my family. And here, I prefer my nation over my business. So contextual. Similarly, okay. you need to add another layer of loyalty also to humankind. Mm. And sometimes, you will have to prefer the interests of humankind over the interests of your nation.